So it's dry now. It's just a little bit warped. That's what I hate. Uh, so I'm just going to add <clears throat> some definition. Now I'm thinking of maybe writing bird of a feather going up the branch. So I just want to practice some fonts. So, I really enjoyed it. I was getting quite lightheaded though when I was blowing the paint and the tea. And that's probably because I wasn't breathing. I'm just using the same breath. So I would advise that you breathe in between blowing and spreading the paint. Uh, the tea wasn't as dark as I thought it would be, but I still quite like the effect. And of course I was using a tea bag for blending. Uh, since the fountain pen wasn't permanent, I used that to blow around as well. And I just basically used the tea as water to make the surface really wet so that this would blow around as well. Because the paints... It's fluid, but it's not fluid enough unless you have quite a lot in one spot to blow. And I really like the effect of it. And I didn't use a picture to draw the bird. That was just for my head. So I was quite surprised how well it came out, actually. Feet look a bit weird, but that's okay. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I really like this. It's quite nice. And... I seem to have a brilliant talent of ruining nibs and it hasn't been ruined yet so I'm quite impressed and I would like to see how long this actually lives with me before I do ruin the nib. Um, I was just using a pipette that I had before it didn't come in the kit to place the tea instead of sucking it up with the straw then blowing it on. Uh, it probably would have been easier if the straw was a bit longer 
So I would probably advise just to use a longer straw because then you have to come quite close to the piece. And the pencil, well, the pencil was like any other pencil, was quite nice to use. It was easy to use to sketch out the plan. Yeah, so I really enjoyed it. And I hope that you enjoy watching the video and I inspire you to do something and try something new. Thanks for watching. Bye.